What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Uh, today, obviously, we're going to go over cylinder heads. So let's begin. I wanted to go over some of these different cylinder heads because it's one of the things that keeps popping up in the comments of my videos and on my Facebook group and on other Facebook groups. Um, and you can check out my Facebook group at the Driveway Engineer on Facebook. People get hung up on, just like they get hung up on which engine they get, they get hung up on which set of heads they get. And it's unnecessary and you're just wasting time and money now like always i'm not talking to the guy that wants to you know make some 1200 horsepower drag week monster if you're bob lutz you don't need to be watching my video okay so i know the comment section is going to fill up with a bunch of people who are like you're stupid shoot i got some heads on my car whatever it's nonsense and, and it's too much for most people. Like, I'm talking to the 99% of people out there who want to grab a Junkyard LS, stick a cam in it, and go do burnouts. So, that's where I'm coming from. For 99% of people and 99% of builds, any stock head's going to be fine. Most people are going to wind up with a 4.8 or a 5.3 because that's what they made the most of. But, uh, I'll go through all of these anyway. So... I have all the casting numbers at the top. I actually copied a lot of this from uh, LSXForYou.com, but I don't really agree with their conclusions that they drew on the different heads. And uh, I also made it a little easier to read, but I cut most of their verbiage out. I just used the numbers. Numbers 241, 806, and 853 are your basic LS1 heads. They're aluminum. They come on your 97 Corvette, 98 and up Firebird and Camaro. Um, they have a decent valve, two inches. All this flow stuff doesn't even matter. You don't race a flow bench. And there's something called coefficient of discharge, which actually matters, and I'm not going to get into it, but just don't even worry about the flow numbers. I put them in here if you want to know them, but they're not important. What is important is the combustion chamber volume um, so that you know if it's different than what you have now because you're going to change your compression ratio if you swap them out the other thing that's important to know about the ls1 heads that are on the ls1 cars which is the 5.7 liter ls1 from 97 to like 2002 is some of them have a perimeter bolt valve cover which is weird and it's hard to find valve covers for it, and the coil uh, mounting brackets are different. And it's just different than like everything else that's out there, than like the truck stuff or the later model car stuff. Um, for that reason alone, I wouldn't use them if I had them, unless I had all the stock stuff. So that's what I have in there, that each style has its own dedicated valve covers and coil pack mounting apparatus. Next up is 243, which is the LS6 um, head. It's the one everybody thinks they want. With a chamber of 64.45 cc's, it's a little bit bigger than what's on your typical 5.3 or 4.8. Uh, it's quite a bit smaller than a 317 that's on your 6.0's. So you can use that accordingly to bump or lower your compression ratio. And here's the flow numbers for those below. That's pretty much all you really need to know about them. They come on LS6 and they're a lot of money to buy and they won't give you any power. Up next is the 706 and the 80 or the 862, um, which is what I have a picture of up at the top of the document because I bought 862 heads for mine because they were 50 bucks and people haven't really caught on to the fact that these are the best head and they make the most power. They have a smaller valve. It's point. It's a hundred and ten thousand smaller, one point eight nine instead of two inches. And if this was your three fifty four ball man, that some bitch jump a coke can shoot, you would really care that you don't have a two inch valve. But trust me, these outpower everything else. And I have a link in the description or a link down below to the article where they outpower everything else. And even more importantly, these have the smallest combustion chamber, so they'll get your compression ratio up. 
So like I have an LQ4, I'm building an NA this year, I'm doing it dirt, dirt cheap. I want my compression ratio up, I don't want to mess with pistons and rods. 50 bucks. I drop 10 cc's off my combustion chamber, just like that. My compression ratio goes from 9.5 to 1 to 10.5 to 1. Full point of compression. I don't have to go to the machine shop. I don't have to buy special push rods. I don't have to do anything goofy at all but put these on the truck with the same head bolts that are already in it. Uh, the 873 iron heads are literally the exact same as 317, except they're made out of iron. The casting shape and everything like that are the same. They're just made out of iron. I've never had a set. I don't know that I would throw them out if I did have a set. You know, I don't know. When you can get 862s for 50 bucks, then why would I bother with an iron head? I will back up here to the 706 and 862. There is one important thing to know that I didn't put in here. These 706 heads are, first of all, they're cast differently. 862s are sand cast, so they're a little bit rougher casting. And I believe 706 are die cast, so they might have a little flash in them, but they're generally smoother. But these 706 heads are cast by a company called, well, some of them are cast by a company called Cast Tech. And those are known to crack, which is why I specifically got 862 heads for my truck, because there's a casting mark underneath the rockers, a cast tech casting mark, but it's under the rockers. You got to pull it. By the time you're ready to pull the rockers, you're ready to pull the head. I didn't feel like going through all that effort just to get a slightly smoother casting. I don't really care at the end of the day. Um, again, for 99% of the people, it's not going to make a lick of difference. So moving on. Like I said, 873 is iron. It's really all there is. It's an iron 317. 317 and 035, these are your LQ4 and LQ9 uh, heads. The only difference between the LQ4 and LQ9 is the LQ9, which is found in Denali's, Escalades, I believe the Silverado SS. The only difference is that the LQ9 has flat top pistons. So I keep seeing people again in the comments that just have to have an LQ9. They have to have an LQ9. You're going to pay twice as much money for an LQ9 and you're going to get like 20 more horsepower. And it's the same with swapping out the pistons. It just doesn't make any sense. If you want to get your, you'll have like a better compression ratio with an LQ4 and 862 heads. So. That's going to be an unpopular opinion, but I don't really care. That's the way it is. Um, again, these are on all the 01 and up LQ4 and LQ9 trucks, uh, 317s. People used to like to put them on 5.3s and 4.8 to drop the compression ratio down for boost, but I've always been an advocate of a high compression ratio on boost. Just run less boost. The higher your compression ratio is, the snappier your engine is going to be on the throttle, the more responsive it's going to be, and the more power it's going to make on boost with less boost. So I'm a fan of, you know, not dropping the compression ratio into the toilet like seven and a half to one like they used to do for the old roots blowers. It's unnecessary. Um, and we'll see that later on in my build. To mill your heads, which I don't recommend doing, but if you want to, there's some examples here you need to mill five thousandths from the block to remove one cc of volume and you need to remove seven thousandths from a head to remove one cc of volume so if you want to go from 66 cc's down to 63 you need to remove three cc's so you need to cut your heads 0.021 now the bigger part of the picture is once you cut 21 thou off your heads now you need push rods so it's much better to just select a head, in my opinion, select a head that puts you up where you want to be. In summary, I'm just going to say dollar for dollar, the 706 and 862 heads have the smallest chamber. They're going to have the highest compression ratio, and they've been known and proven to produce the most power out of any of the Gen 3 heads. I got a set for 50 bucks the other day. You know, they're in every junkyard. They're on every 5.3 and 4.8. You can find them anywhere. I know that it's not going to sound super cool and you're not going to be able to be like, shoot, I got me some fuely heads. And really, whatever heads you have are fine. Like, you'll make, you can make 400 horsepower with any of the stock heads, period. 
So just quit spending money. Just put your engine in with a cam and run it. That's pretty much it. This file will be up on the Driveway Engineer Facebook group. And uh, I thank you guys for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below with your thoughts on this. We'll see you next time.